Don't you want to be a real family again? There's literally no Insta here. OMG! OMG! My new stepsis! Come on, selfie time! Wow, that's a, uh, a clip from uh, Dream Build. It's just one of the many films being showcased at this year's 45th annual Cleveland International Film Festival. And it looks very interesting, an animated film. It's going to kick off on April 7th, going to run through the 20th, and is entirely online once again this year. Joining me now is the artistic director of the film festival, Mallory Martin. Mallory, first of all, thank you so much for checking in with us this morning. I like that film. It's, it's very, very interesting. Tell us a, a bit about what we just watched. Sure. Uh, Dream Builders is one of our family feature films this year. It's actually a Danish film, uh, but it's dubbed in English, so all ages can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And we have quite a few films in our feature or family um, sidebar this year. And I have to make a comment that it's it's one of my my favorite parts about moving the festival online. Is in our online festival last year, I was actually able to watch some family films with my toddler at home, and I realized yeah. how much more convenient it is for families to watch films at home. In the festival, so we're really excited to have a big family sidebar again this year. Making the best out of a out of a bad situation, and you're doing it once again this year. How many films are we talking about this year, and and where do they come from? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, we have 116 feature films and 182 short films in the festival this year, and they come from all over the world. Uh, we get uh, we, we had about 3,500 submissions uh, this year, so we had a team of people including myself and our shirts programmer, watch um, as many as those as we possibly can. And then we also search for films at other festivals. So in the last year, um, myself, uh, I, I went to 26 other virtual film festivals wow. from this very room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's a lot of that's a lot of movie watching. Talk about the changes this year. I know you guys, you know, you did it, you know, all, you know, online last year, but to talk about the changes this year as far as streaming is concerned. Yeah, so so last year, you know, we were forced to pivot online pretty quickly. Uh, it took us 3 weeks to get all of our films online, which is pretty crazy. Uh, what we were not able to do though is do any sort of filmmaker audience engagement in that short amount of time. So that's something we've spent this last whole year uh, really trying to fine tune and learn from other festivals and how to do it. So we'll have lots of Q and A's this year. Um, some of them pre-recorded, some of them live mm -hmm. where you can interact with the filmmakers and ask questions. Um, nice. And we'll have some other sort of virtual ways to interact with uh, audience as well. Excellent. So we're excited about that. Talk mm -hmm. about the judging process this year. So yeah, so there's, um, we will have audience voting this year. That was another thing we weren't able to, to make happen last year. Um, for every film that you watch on the online platform, you'll be able to vote using a star rating system. It's super easy, right? Okay. Right on the platform, you can vote for any film that you watch. And then in addition to that, we'll have three juried feature competitions and then some of our shorts uh, competitions are juried as well. So we'll have jurors from all over the world yeah. watching their films. Too. All right, let's take a look at some of the, some of the clips that you provided. First of all, let's look at uh, Not Going Quietly. Let's check it out. Hey, Carl, it's me, Dad. By the time you're watching this, you will have grown up to be strong and courageous, but I don't know how much longer I'll be around for you. I was diagnosed with ALS today, which is a deadly, debilitating disease. After I was diagnosed, all right, quick synops synopsis on what this film is about. So Not Going Quietly is a documentary about Adi Barkin. He was actually named one of Time's 100 Most Influential People of 2020. Uh, he's an activist. He's been a longtime activist for many things, particularly healthcare reform. But a few years ago, he was diagnosed with ALS, right mm. when he his wife was also mm. due to have a baby. Um, and mm. instead of letting that disease take him down, he's really fought harder and um, he he was able to realize and experience personally um, the, the flaws of our healthcare system right mm, now and yeah. it only pushed him to fight harder. Okay, next cut, unapologetic. Let's take a look. Black women do a lot of thankless and undervalued work. We take it back! Our we take it back! Our, our entire existence is resistance. It's just like an exacerbated 
level of commitment. It's very new, this idea of this being work. This has always been life. All right, Mallory, talk to me. Uh, Unapologetic is a great documentary directed by a woman in Chicago named Ashley O'Shea, who's actually our first ever Groundbreaker Award recipient this year. She made a great documentary about two um, black female queer activists in Chicago who are not only um, you know, trying to teach people about structural racism, but really also talking about how women have not had roles of leadership in the Black Lives Matter movement yet mm. and talking about how important it is for them to be a part of it. Very interesting. All right, our, fi mm -hmm. our final clip is uh, Kiss Me Kosher. Let's take a look. את לא מתחתנת, בטח שלא עם השרץ של אווה ואדולף. סבתא. Die Verbindung zweier Kulturen ist nicht einfach. Und ich bin sehr stolz auf dich, wie du es meisterst. It's like I'm living in a minefield, just waiting to explode right in my face. Looks interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Kiss Me Kosher is a great uh, romantic comedy. It's hilarious. It's it's about um, two women, Shira, who's Israeli, and Maria, who's German, and about their families being able to to overcome any sort of stigmas that they have about each other's cultures in order to you know bring these two together in um, in marriage. And it, it's a great Saturday night film, um, something that's a little bit lighter, which is sometimes harder to find in the festival. All right, let's talk about how, how folks can take part. How do you sign up? How do you, how do you uh, open your life up to all these wonderful films? Well, tickets are already on sale on our website, clevelandfilm.org, uh, passes as well. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think the best way to experience a festival is through a pass, mm -hmm. uh, because everything is, for the most part, pretty on demand. We do have some scheduled screenings yeah. this year, but most of the films you can watch at your leisure, you know, um, around your schedule uh, on the platform. And the best way to do that is with the pass. It, you, it ends up turning the platform into sort of a Netflix style where you can just browse the films and use a watch list feature. And it's a really easy way to, to experience the festival this All right, year. And, and next, next year, fingers crossed, you guys will be on Playhouse Square next year. So yes, be exciting. yeah, we can't, we can't <laughs> wait. All right. <laughs> Mallory Martin, thank you. Appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Just Thank you. All right. Just a reminder that the uh, once again, the International uh, Film Festival starts on the 7th and goes to the 20th uh, right here in the city of Cleveland. Tickets on sale right now. All that information on our website, fox8.com. So uh, a lot of good movies to watch.